Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I want to talk to you about Wicketplex. Now Wicketplex is a small group, a couple hundred people. It's a exclusive VIP membership only. And what happens is these members share one sign-in. And there's an administrator that takes care of all of the back-end stuff. And what happens is you get access to all of the servers. There's IPTV servers that have live service. It has uh, movies, TV shows, tons and tons of content. You can request a video on demand. There's pay-per-view events. There's everything on this. Now, first, before I talk to you about Wicked Plex, I'm going to tell you about how it all works but first let me tell you a little bit about plex in case you're new to this so plex is a app that you put on your devices your apple tv your roku your shield you know some android devices things like that okay and what happens is you have a server a plex server it's a piece of software that you install on a computer that has a hard drive attached to it or maybe you have like I do a NAS in your basement a network attached storage that has a large capacity hard drive that you put all of these movies that you may have downloaded from the internet or ripped from DVDs the Plex server categorizes everything and puts it uh, so that you can use these clients on these devices to uh, the server serves it all up to you and you can watch all your shows and manage all your shows you have tons and tons of movies on there and you can just watch all day different categories channels things like that okay now maybe you're not like me maybe your Plex app is completely empty you don't have any content that you download it. You don't have a hard drive. You don't have a NAS in your basement. But you want to be able to have a lot of content that you could watch. Live content, sports, everything. So let me tell you about Wicketplex. Now, first of all, there are some Plex clients, like the one on the Apple TV I'm showing you here, that use a PIN service in order to sign in. So basically, when you click on open the Plex app on your Apple TV and you go into setting and you hit sign in it displays a four digit pin now you take this pin you go on the browser on your on your on your laptop or something and you sign into your Plex you put the four digits in and automatically like magic your Apple TV app gets signed in then you know you select your server and you start serving up everything now wicked tv thought of this and they said why don't we have a universal username that the administrator only knows but they allow you to give the pin number that displays on your devices now this works with roku playstation 4 apple tv 4 the shield uh, some Android devices and smart TVs. There are some apps that don't use the PIN system and you can't use this service with those. So basically this service runs around 60 something dollars a year per device. 12 months of service and there's only a couple hundred members. You, you can request shows, request you know TV shows, movies, things like that. There's a lot of pay-per-view stuff, all this stuff. And playing with it for a couple of days and being that my channel does these kind of things, I think it's a really good deal. Now, you can pay with, you know, PayPal or, you know, use bank transfer or something like that. And you can get all this content, okay? And it was worth a try, and I gave it a try. And I, I said... I have to give it a try because it's just so much stuff that they have. And after I show you all this live TV, sports, all that stuff, just a fraction of it is worth that amount. So 
what you do is you give the four digit pin and now they sign into your Plex on your Apple TV in your home. Like magic. You get access. And what you're getting access to is you're getting access to the Wicked TV sign in and all of their servers. So this is my server over here. This is the one that's in my home. Now I see my server here, even though I'm signed in with the Wicked credentials, I see mine because I set in settings that I'm going to allow my Apple TV that's connected to the same Wi-Fi in my home as my NAS, where the server is, and they're on the same Wi-Fi. And if that's the case, it allows me to see the content of my Plex server. So that's how I get this to work. Now, Wicked Plex doesn't see my server. They don't see my username. They don't see anything. They're just giving me permission. And I'm one of the devices in their chain. So it's very safe, very secure. Their server and their whole system is under VPN on their end. So you don't have to worry about getting caught by your internet service provider. As far as the internet service provider, they think that you're just watching Plex. Because it's in over the internet as a remote server but they see that you're signed in and it's a secure um, connection HTTPS and if you want you can use a VPN on your end but there's probably no need to do that it's not like you're downloading stuff from the internet uh, not using a VPN and getting caught out there with your ISP and detectives and things like that you don't have to worry about that because they're VPN on their end okay so what you have to do also is you have to rename your Apple TV. And the only reason you rename your Apple TV is because then they can keep track of who you are because they'll associate the name of your Apple TV to your service, your 12 months, you know. So we go into general or actually you can go into AirPlay and you just go here and he told me to change the name of my Apple TV from living room or office Apple TV to Uncle Dave forward slash test. But you know, if you can probably get something a little bit cooler named like, you know, Uncle Dave's office, you know, Apple TV or something like that, you know. And then that's the way that when you give them the pin, it shows up on their end and they see Uncle Dave test and they sign you in because you made your payment uh, for the 12 months and now you have access okay so it's simple to do and you could still have your server show up because your apple tv basically is in your home and as long as it's in your home you'll be able to see your server here uh, but then you see all of theirs now let's go through what they have in store so currently right now they have five servers. This one is being worked on right now and it's going to be available soon. And then there are four other ones. So let's start with Wicked Kids. So you go into Wicked Kids and that's a server just like, you know, your server. And it has kids TV shows. Okay. And you can go to all and you see all the different TV shows. Okay. That they have there. Then you can go to kids movies and you can see all the kids movie. Now that will keep the kids entertained for a lifetime. Okay. But we can go back and, you know, Plex, each server has channels that you can install. So the wicked Plex people have a app on here called request, uh, the request channel. So you can click here and you use your remote to request a movie. So say I want to request a movie. I have it here and I can see my search history, what I've done in the past, but I can also look for movies. So say I'm looking for, I don't know, uh, Forrest Gump. So I would do F and then I would go all the way, uh, you know, down to, you know, for you know, O and then spell out forest. And then I'll have submit there and I'll hit submit and it will search to see if that's available on any one of the four or five servers that Wicket Plex has. And if not, 
they'll see that you requested that and they'll try to get it for you and put it on one of the servers. Then you also have Film On. That's like an app that you watch older shows and things like that. And the rest of all this stuff is all administrative stuff that you really can't get into. So that is kids channels and kids home where you get the two uh, things that you can do. So let's go back up now. And let's pick another server. So now we're going to go into the server for movies. Okay. So here's Wicked Movies. Wicked Movies. And now that server loads up. And in this server, we have a ton of folders. 80s movies, 90s movies, and all. So let's just hit all movies. There's two all movies folders. But let's do the first all movies folder. And you can see you have tons and tons and tons of movies i played every single one of these uh basically if somebody else who's uh one of the members your fellow members is watching something you'll see that there's a progress but if you wanted to you just click here it won't mess it up for them and you play from the beginning you know you play from the beginning you start watching it and then you got free movies you know free f free movies unbelievable amount of movies you can go on for days and days and days now just like the first thing i showed you uh, let me just show you the rest of the folders comedy all different kinds of folders of stuff all right very nicely organized uh, by the administrator and now let's go to channels on the wicked movies and you could see that there are a couple of options here now, these are all things in the works right now. Uh, this particular channels on the movie um, is, you know, being worked on right now. Um, but it's a backup. They use different servers to make redundancy so that they can back up uh, a lot of stuff. Okay, so now that's Wicked uh, Movies. And, you know, all the movies you want, all the kids shows you want, it's great now. This is what I want to show you. Now, Wicked Live 1 has movies that are stored on there from uh, movies that start with the letter A all the way through M. So we click here, and in Home, you're going to see TV shows A through M. Okay? So if your show starts with an A or starts through M, then you'll find your show in here and multiple episodes and things like that okay so there are people watching the these things here but you can go down and see different shows so like like 13 reasons why there are 13 episodes and you could just pick any one of the 13 episodes and watch to your heart's content so there's um a search feature also that you can do and if you have it on all servers it'll search all five of those servers or four servers and you could just type in what you're looking for. Like say I was looking for uh, Fargo and I typed it in. You would It would show you the results of Fargo. And that's great. Now, channels on this. This is the fun part. This is the best part of this service. It's the live content. Now, you use Cody to get live content. And you know how Cody works. It's like cumbersome. There's a lot of broken things. Nobody maintains it. There's too many repos involved. This is all one person. and Or a couple of people, I should say. And they're putting it all together for you. They're maintaining everything for you. It's a membership. It's a service. It's not just a nonsense repo uh, with a link or URL that they give you. It's somebody taking care of you. So let's start. This will take me days to show you. But... Let me just show you some folders. Uh, so if I hit, you know, sports folder and I go through, you're going to see that there's tons of uh, international sports as well as United States sports, as well as kids channels, TV shows, things like that. But this is a sports folder. So let me let, let me go and hit all here. And you're going to see that there are times sometimes like 1630, which is 430 in the afternoon uh, that this started and then you have different sports channels 
BT Sports, tons of stuff. Let me just click one and, and we'll let it play. It's kind of late at night, so we're not going to have a lot of stuff. But there's things going on right now. And the quality is unbelievable. You don't get this quality with Cody and some of those repos that you see. I mean, look at the quality. It's like 720 at least. But a lot of times it's even better than that. Let's pick another BT Sports. And we got something going on here. Nice game going on there and let me click all again i'm sorry and then go down to the bottom and then you're going to see bt sports and you're going to see more and you click more and you keep going now i got some canadian sports here okay because you see the can and i hit more and there's more on here now you, you can even get some uh mtv stuff and fox sports too you got the sky uh channels all right, let's pick one of the Sky Channels. We'll do sci-fi and horror. We click that, and it will load up, you know, a horror show that's playing. Okay, so we keep going. We're gonna hit more. We're gonna have more stuff, more Sky Sports, and these are all test things that they're testing. They put them at the end. So let's hit Sky Sports and let's see what's playing on this one. I've never seen a service that actually has a lot of stuff that's working okay so let's go back now that was just one folder in multiple folders on one server we still got tons of other packages here and they're all broken up because you know they make room and they'll be able to maintain them better so let's go to iptv1 we'll open that up and you're going to see BT Sports, you're going to see Live Motorsports, Live Football, which is soccer. Uh, you're going to see Movie Channels. All right, let's go to Movie Channels. I'll show you Movie Channels. So here's uh, uh, Disney and Sci-Fi and a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's let's click on uh, Sky Cinema Disney. I mean, so far, every channel's working. It's, it's unbelievable. I've been playing with this for a couple of days, and I've seen so many things all right so maybe that one's not running right now let me go to a different one cinema premiere and there we have some show uh, playing right up here and most of the stuff you can get live uh, there's a lot of UK channels a lot of United States there's a lot of tons and tons of stuff okay let's just travel through I mean, I could spend all day doing this. I can show you tons and tons of stuff. HBO, Showtime, there's everything on here. All right, so we went through that. Let's go to number two, and we'll see number two real quick. And let's see if we find things that are... Oh, no category is... Uh, there's a lot of pornography on here, too. You can get a lot of porno channels, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so we have international sports now check this out this is bn bn is like 12 channels that you get and you can only sign up if you have a cable provider uh, so let's look at bn so here's bn2 and there's a nice soccer game going on there let's go to another bn boom another bn remember you can only have this uh if you didn't have this service, you can only have this if you had cable service, okay? So, we'll hit more. Now, some Canadian channels. All right, let's see the Canadian Cartoon Network. And we'll see how good that looks. Actually, you can't pick Con Cartoon Network because it's late at night. Let's do CBS West in Canada. There it is. Okay, and you know, you want to watch more, keep going. It goes on for days and days. I can't even, I couldn't even investigate the amount of channels they had uh, on this service. This is just the best IPTV I've ever seen. Uh, the best service here, Fox Sports. All right, Fox Sports 1. Let's do it. All right. So many there it is, Fox Sports. Next, let's look uh, at French sports. 
This is in French language. And they have some BMX show going on right now. Uh, then you have MLB. Watch the spring training and all that uh, first couple of games, a whole bunch of games. You can watch it. Um, old games, too. You know, they load up. I mean, look how beautiful the quality is. The first. It's just incredible. All right. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Let's go back out of this. Ooh. And let's go to number three. And Bien, English channels. Oh, here are shows that are 24-7 going on. You can watch 24 hours, seven days a week of Married ch with Children. Just one episode after another. I mean, just think about that. International sports. Let's see. Yep. Canada. Yep. Croatia. You got, I think, Denmark. I'm not sure. Keep going. We got French, Indonesian. Just, it just keeps going. I can, like I said, I can spend all day. Let's just pick one. Watch. And it works. Everything I've touched works. It's just crazy amount of content. Let's keep going. More. Keep going. Now, if you can't find your sporting event, you're never going to find it. I mean, this has everything. Oh, USA. There we go. Third straight bowl game. Cool. There we go. This is all college sports. Let's go. VIP. Check this out. VIP. Let's see this. But the service is just incredible. You can still use your Plex for your server. And on and on and on. Okay? Now, we haven't even touched the surface let's just go back all right so we still have four and five and i'm not going to get crazy i'm not going to keep going this video will go on for days but that's wicket live one okay so if we went to wicket live ooh, wicket live two let's go to wicket live two and wicket live two shows you all of the shows from n through z that are record, you know, pre-recorded for you, okay? And you just search them and you find them. But like I said, you can go into the channels and now you have redundancy of the previous uh, Wicket Live one. But sometimes you'll get content in here that you won't see in the other one because they're in the process of updating and doing a backup and this and that. And maybe this, um, you know, live channel, live server gets it first and then you know, they transfer it over to the other one. So there's plenty of redundancy. The, the, the servers will never go down because they have so much uh, backup that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry. If you don't see it on one, you, you find it on the other. So like I said, uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer you because I want to see you have content. I want to see you be happy. It's not as expensive as you think it is it's definitely worth it and as a matter of fact if you were interested you could tell them that askuncledave.com sent you and they'll let you have the service for 40 pounds uh whatever that's translated into american money uh for the next three days from the time i make this video so first come first serve you have to get vetted they got to make sure you're legit. You pay them the money. They hook you up for 12 months. Tell them Uncle Dave sent you. Ask me questions if you have any questions. You, once you get onto the group on the Facebook page, you can make your request of all the shows you want and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.